We're about to keep the kids healthy all throughout the year. It's the end of the summer, although it doesn't really feel like we've had a summer. <laughs> Maybe September will feel like summer. And we have new ways to keep the kids active. And Kirsten Silcox and Joelle Turner from the YMCA are here, along with some very fabulous yogis this morning. We have Georgia and we also have Emma here who are going to do some poses for us. Some fun youth programs at the YMCA. Now go ahead you guys and start <laughs> your flow and we'll, we'll sort of stand to the side here, yes. Kirsten and I, and talk a little bit about, we'll try not to disrupt the practice too much, but tell me a little bit about the, uh, the yoga program for youth. All right, well the YMCA offers uh, youth and fusion Rich. for kids, which is a oh wonderful way for kids to learn concentration, to build right. flexibility, to improve their skills. As you can see here, the girls are getting quite uh, focused and mm -hmm. flexible. Uh, it's also a good way for the kids to connect and learn a little bit more body awareness and have a better understanding of how their body works and what it can do and all of those yeah, things. Yeah, I was just going to say all yeah, those it's things. it's very holistic. Okay, so this is it. We're looking forward to September here, and this is important too for de-stressing when kids are getting into school. Yes. And that can be a little bit stressful, so this is something great for Absolutely. Them. It's a great way for the kids to relax and unwind. Flexibility is really important, and especially if kids do a lot of sports through the summer or start to do sports into the winter time, hockey, that type of thing, indoor soccer. It's a great way. Uh, people often forget about how important stretching is and keeping the body warm and limber. Also excellent for injury prevention. Particularly when kids are at the computer or video games all yes. day long. So Absolutely. that movement and flow is really important. So they're doing some poses here. Now what ages does this program we offer uh, parented yoga programs for three to five year olds and then we have youth yoga for six to twelve year olds and at twelve years of age uh, all youth are welcome to join any of our adult programs. Okay and we're seeing some shiny happy faces <laughs> here and I'm gonna interrupt Emma here for a minute. What's your favorite pose Emma? Um, the tree. You like tree pose. What do you love about yoga? Um, I don't really know a lot about yoga. Is it fun though to do it? Yes. Yeah, to do the flow and the flexibility part? Yeah. Okay, give us your best tree pose here. Show Andrew Schultz how it's done. Very well done and we'll see how long Emma can hold that. I'm gonna hop over here to Georgia. <laughs> Georgia, what's your favorite pose? Cat. Cat pose and let's see it. Very well done, rounding the back. Nice job, Emma. And on that note, we're going to break our yogis here and bring along the basketball guys. So come on in, Jack, Brian, Jordan, and Steele, led by Pam. And they're going to do a drill here. Tell us, <laughs> what's up, Jack? <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the basketball program. This is really cool. Steve Nash Youth. Yes, so we are running the Steve Nash basketball program at the YMCA, which fits really well with the values of the Y. It's a non-competitive recreational program where, as you can see, the kids learn skills. Right now, they're practicing a pivoting drill. Okay. So it helps build agility, flexibility, speed, control. Mental focus. Mental focus. They're very focused. Yes, they are very focused. And it's fast. Yes. So we offer a wide range of sport programs, all in a non-competitive recreational environment. Okay. And so we are quite excited to be launching the Steve Nash basketball program in the fall. And who doesn't want to play basketball like Steve Nash? Exactly. <laughs> what could be better than that? Okay, I'm going to hop in with some of the guys here and get their input. Okay, Jack, I'm going to hopefully not get basketball <laughs> in the face. What do you love about basketball? Um, I'll stand back I love, here. Um, I don't really know. It's just because you have fun. Um, Lots of fun. Is this yeah. drill hard? Um, no, not really. It's not because he is a basketball superstar, Jack in the back, and doing all the tricks here. So I'm just going to sneak away here and hopefully not get caught in the crossfire here. When can, when can parents start registering? They should probably start thinking about this now. Yes, actually, uh, member registration was last week, and non-member registration starts next week. So programs are ready for registration. So anytime people want to get signed up for fall and winter programs, they can go right ahead. Terrific. Great programs at the YNCA. We'll put those links up on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca, on how you can find out more. And we want you to get active, too. How you can win a family pass is also on the website, breakfasttelevision.ca. All you have to do is enter the code word, and that is YMCA Community. YMCA Community is the key word today on breakfasttelevision.ca, and you could take home a family day pass. Keeping the family active for the summer and heading into the fall. Thanks very much, you guys, for being here. Thank awesome you. Awesome to have you, as always. More coming up on Breakfast Television. We have your look at weather after the break.